Oh, shoot. Oh, good. Okay. Okay, game. This is kind of the opposite of the problem I usually encounter. <laughs> Instead of falling through the world, apparently I can just freely walk on top of it now. Where did, where did I come from? You again? Ah. <laughs> Seven misses. More misses than anyone else, but fewer bads. They're destroying everything! There they are! Yes, they're destroying everything. Whoops. Boom Boom is down. What the hell? Whoops. Sorry, Boom Boom. Oh, God. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so I'm dead. Journal entry added. Experience points received, 200. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my god, that was... I like that. <laughs> right, sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. I don't even know where to start. Grunt, you apologize to the nice man for setting his car on fire. Fine. I'm sorry for setting your car on fire. There we go! Finally! This one here, this is not a shuttle. I mean, it, it's comparable. It's considered to be a sort of shuttle, but this is a Federation runabout, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I love that you can get so up close to it. Look at that. That looks so nice. Ugh. 
they've done some good stuff with this just since the time I've been away. Oh my god! <laughs> this is going even worse than before! <laughs> and here I thought I was being tactical and clever. Hey! Hey, maybe you can use your saber to make another bridge. What an idea. That's wacky. Who to thunk? Great, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh, that's rude. Oh, God. Supercharge boost. Excellent. Okay. Maybe. Oh, what do you like to do for fun? Whatever's next. That's what's fun. Ah. Oh, <laughs> you picked a very good time to show up again, Uthgur. Thank you. Good evening, folks, and welcome back to the Library of Lore. Tonight, we're going to finally do a successful, I hope, uh, <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom stream. So, let's get into it a bit, shall we? Where are we? I hope everyone's having a good week. I am beyond excited. In less than an hour, I will get to start saying that I'll be playing Starfield later today. No, I can't say that yet. It's not today. It's tomorrow, but... I'm less than an hour away from tomorrow, so that's, ugh, I can't even begin to tell you how exciting that is for, for me, so. Oh, our, <sighs> okay, fine. What's the worst that could happen? This is, yeah, this is only a very small update. <sighs> okay. Fingers crossed. Let's hope this all works. So, I have to apologize a little bit in advance. Uh, Foothill Stable? That looks about right. I've been fighting a bit of a headache all day, and I was hoping to have it kicked by the time I started streaming, but it has not died off yet. I've still got it, so that's fun. But, uh, yeah, uh, it is greatly reduced from where it was, so that's a positive. And I just recently took more stuff for it. Oh, right, we were working on the pen missions for... What was her name? Oh. That's a little loud for me. There we go. You folks will have to let me know how the relative volume is. No, I actually didn't want to sit by the fire. Let's talk to him. So you're back again, traveler. I keep saying this, but yeah, we're kind of not wearing the usual gear, but we're just following orders. Not weird. No way. Still, that girl who works in the stable took one look at us all of us and left. She's far over there and won't come back. She's got to know, though, that we're the real deal. The Zonai survey team. This is as far from weird as it gets. How did this happen? I was the last member of the team to reach this survey location. 
By then, everyone was dressed like this by order of Princess Zelda. Why would she give such a strange command? Okay, so we're gonna have to find Pen. I assume he's around. Oh, there he is. Let's see what Pen has to say about this. There you are, partner. Have you seen all the men in underpants at the stable? Oh. I've been listening to the chirps and warbles from my sources. They said that Princess Zelda ordered all the members of the Zonai survey team here to dress that way. This spot used to see a lot of travelers coming through here on their way to Goron City. But they're mostly taking a new road now, so monsters have been making their home in the area. I've been telling folks that it's too dangerous around here to walk around in just their underpants. They won't listen to me, though. They insist they're following Princess Zelda's orders. Hmm. I've also heard that some of these underdressed men have set off to explore a place near here. Hmm. They, want, they went to look into a monster den up this mountain road. Oh... Okay, I I think last time I read through this, I mentally skipped over the word mountain road and just focused on the mountain part. Well? Why would Princess Zelda give such a reckless order to the survey team? These trips and warbles are going to give us a real story to report on. I just know it. Okay. Up the mountain road. Well, let's see if we can find a monster den that the survey team are examining and exploring. Because that's what we gotta focus on. Maw of Death Mountain. It's such a cheerful place. Now, it could be that uh, these lanterns, the glow rock lanterns, are leading us the way, or that might have more to do with the actual Goron City. Oh, Korok. I don't think I've actually followed this road yet. Ow. Fine. I was going to fight you normally, but if you're going to be rude about it. There you go. Where do you need to get to, little guy? Oh god, probably way up there. I'll be back, sir. Don't go anywhere. Ah, that's gotta be it there. Princess Zelda has given the order, so here we go, Sango. It won't be scary if we both go together all at once. On the count of three. One, two, three. Hmm? Sango, why didn't you go? Y you didn't move either, Drant. Um, what's going on? Oh, it's you. I thought it was a monster. We're trying to conduct research on the monsters holed up in this cave. But look at us. We're hardly geared up to deal with any threats. We can't bring ourselves to go in there. Our research is at a standstill. Ah. Princess Zelda sent out very specific directions for us on the survey team, and it's this, word for word. We will only find our future if we chart a new course, leaving the safety of indoor study for exploration in the wild. So prepare your mind and body, and then explore in underpants. I know Princess Zelda wants us to do it this way, but we're really only members of the survey team. Uh. It's scary enough to deal with monsters with equipment, but without any? Mm. <sighs> if only someone could do this, show us how it's done. Well, then we could try to do it without gear, too. Oh. Are you serious? You'll need to go in wearing as little as we are. You're sure about this? Oh. Now then, I'll hold on to your other clothes and any equipment you may have. Ah. 
Just give me a shout when you want your equipment back. Oh. We'll hold back and learn your methods from a distance. We're just not confident in the whole physical side of this. For our princess. Okay, see, first we go in all stealth-like. And then we try to stay stealth-like. And we keep a careful eye on our surroundings to see if there's anything we can improvise a weapon from. He, yeah, oh, it, it said in underpants. It didn't say unarmed. Come on, guys. Now we've got some monsters sleeping, which will aid our stealth endeavor here. Aha, uh -huh. I see a club we can use. There's a box over there as well I might be able to use. Ooh, even better though. There's a rock up there, there's several rocks. Another guy there. Just take that stick. I have to go real slow. See if I can slip by without alerting him. And fuse. Ooh. What is that up there and back? I'm hoping it's not a silver guy. Link, you can make this climb. There you go. Okay. It's a rusted sword. Ah, oh, shoot. I think that might be a silver guy. No, it's just a book goblin. Okay. Oh crap, there 
is somebody big here. Hang on. There was something that wasn't registering. Interesting. Oh, it's a blue moblin, though, not a silver. That's not as bad as it could be. Oh, no wonder they look a little strange. They're armored. That was not it. Oh, there you are. Is that it? That looks like that's about it. Wow, you survived. I actually beat them. Huh? What? You really defeated the monsters wearing only your underpants? I'm going to tell the other members of the team about your stunning work here. Please join us back at Foothill Stable. Ah. Okay then, I'll return the gear that I was holding for you. Mm. We'll head back to Foothill Stable and wait for you there. You defeated the cave monsters wearing only your underpants and reported back to the Zone I survey team members at the entrance. They've asked you to return to Foothill Stable where they plan on telling everyone there about your great accomplishment.
Okay, so we're just about there. Who's this guy in the road? Oh, my apologies, ma'am. The recent increase in monsters has made a mess of the Death Mountain path ahead. And the worst monsters of all are in those grasping reddish-black holes that crawl along the ground. Oh, reddish-brown, reddish-black ones. One touch from them and you'll feel your life draining away. I recommend you give them a wide berth. Be careful out there. Another Korok. Ah, here they are. Oh, great, you came. Everyone, this is the one who did our survey team a great service, defeating the monsters in just his underpants. Incredible. Please, tell us how this was actually done. Um, excuse me. What's all this with wearing only underpants? Oh, sorry, I guess you haven't heard Princess Zelda's order for all of us on the survey team yet. She said we had to leave the comfort of studying indoors. She ended with these words. So prepare your mind and body and then explore in underpants. Uh... No, I got the order too. That's why I'm all the way out here doing research. But what Princess Zelda really said was this. So prepare your mind and body and then explore all other paths. Not what you guys thought. What's that? Then all this time we've spent doing our survey research and our underpants was a total waste of time? Hmm. Well, not entirely. Princess Zelda did say to strengthen our mind and body and to go outside to push ourselves to excel like never before. Is that not what the spirit of what we is that not the spirit of what we were trying to do? Our methods as researchers have been truly tested. Ah. Come on, let's return to our work and keep this high standard forever. Uh-huh, I see. So the chirps and warbles that started us off here really paid off in the end. What a story. The team here botched the listening part and went overboard with the doing part. Still, that's commitment. Well, one thing's for sure. Princess Zelda really is a top-notch leader. What a powerful inspiration she is. We've worked together to chase 11 of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Just as expected, partner. Tracy made the right call bringing you on. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Ah. Tracy gave us another bonus. It sounds like it was like it, it's <laughs> like I said, guys. I'm kind of tired today and head achy. It sounds like that article on Princess Zelda was a hit. Tracy was really excited about it. Anyway, here's the bonus. The job itself is rewarding, of course, but these are nice too. Don't you agree, partner? With that, I'll take wing. This story isn't going to rent itself, after all. So along. Okay. Let's get ourselves a bike, and we'll get back up to Tracy and see where the next one is located. Can't help but notice I am starting to run a little bit low on... Wait a minute. Oh, it's, I want to go this way. I'm starting to run a little bit low on um, the Zonite. I'm going to have to go on a scavenger hunt to grab some. Oh, this is actually going to be a bit far to fly, isn't it? It's not going to be that bad flying, though. 
it would take a fair amount of time on foot. Luckily, we don't have to go on foot. to set down, but I don't want to be in visual range of those guys. Let's maybe go here. Almost. Hey, Onstara, how are you doing tonight? It's good to see you. I'm doing pretty good. I just solved one of the more vexing pen stories that I'd been trying for a while. It turns out I was misreading the instructions the entire time. It was directing me to a monster lair that I couldn't find because I kept reading that it was, uh, you know, further up the mountain. It turned out I was sort of, for some reason, just mentally skipping the word road. It was up the mountain road, not up the mountain itself. Whoops. Patriotic, how are you doing? It's excellent to see you. I'm mostly doing all right. Oh. You need help, don't you? Ow. There you go. Are we already monster free? Good, what a pain in the neck. Look at you swooping in to save me in the nick of time all over again. Here, take this as thanks for helping me. I'm sure you'll like it. The work of a dedicated treasure hunter never ends and I wouldn't have it any other way. Lately, I've been really interested in the rubble and stones falling from the sky. I've even been dreaming about them. My latest dream? Hmm. Ugh. This big stone came tumbling out of the sky and hit the ground and then suddenly started to float back upward. I grabbed onto it, and before I knew it, I had arrived at an island in the sky full of treasure. Can you imagine? Anyway, that was basically the whole dream. Too good to be true, of course. Why would I dream about a falling stone flying back up into the sky? Dreams are so strange. I'd better get going, but I hope we meet again. Subork. Hey, Greenie. You're in Act 3? That's actually good news for me, because that means I'm probably mistaken about not being halfway through Act 2. But congratulations, Greenie. That is awesome. Does that mean you are now in Baldur's Gate itself, or shortly to be? I am so looking forward to getting there. I won't be doing it this week, though. I'm probably going to do two weeks at least solid on Starfield. But then, well, actually, I'm not going to commit to two weeks because, frankly, I'm too invested in Baldur's Gate to make that kind of promise. But I'm definitely going to be hitting Starfield hard. You've still got a ways that you think. Okay. I'm, I'm trying not to think about it too much. But I have very vivid memories of the very first arrival at Baldur's Gate in Baldur's Gate 1 and exploring the city and seeing how the graphics at the time, I know they're very dated now, but at the time they were kind of mind-blowing and gorgeous. And I'm hoping that Baldur's Gate in Baldur's Gate 3 
can evoke at least a shadow of that, and I will be very happy. So I, I'm not thinking about it too much for fear that I will build up too much expectation and ruin the experience for myself. Castletown Watchtower. You know, it occurs to me, I really have not explored this specific area very much at all. Aside from that, like, the center area right there. I did the shrine, and that was basically about it. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm doing pretty good today. I'm kind of headachy, not doing 100%, but the headache is a lot better now than it was. I've been fighting it all day. I took the good stuff maybe half an hour before I started stream or so, and it seems to be helping quite a bit. And that means it's probably not going to be a hugely long stream. I'm going to try my best not to go any later than 3 a.m. today, because I've got... You know, I, I've got... I'm doing the bonus stream tomorrow. An early bonus stream at that. I'll be starting at 8.30, or as close to it as I can. For the debut of Starfield. Then I'm going to be doing Starfield on Friday as well. And then I'm going to do... I, I didn't do a long stream of the month for August. I'm delaying that a little bit. I will be doing it on Saturday, in addition to the normal long stream of the month that I will be doing in September. And the Saturday one, I'm going to be doing Starfield, of course. Royal Ancient Lab Ruins. I think we've been here. Let's set down on this ridge here. <laughs> no worries. I actually find those discussions interesting on Stara. I, I enjoy them. I'm self-aware enough to know that I'm probably just being stubborn about it and that you're probably right because definitions change over time. But that doesn't mean that I feel obligated to honor that change by using it myself. Hey! Addison! What? Oh my god, I haven't found a new Addison in forever. Aww. Okay, what are we gonna do here? Let's plop that in right there. Yeah, that should be fairly easy. Let's do... That... Every time I made the argument, I feel a distant pang of aggravation over the now common and yet still unacceptable use of literally to mean the literal opposite of what it should. I know, I hate that too. Okay, now I don't think that's going to fully work. I'm going to have to stabilize this far end over here. That should be better. Oh, it's you. Thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here too, but I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. What? Are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. He's standing. How's the president standing? That was brilliant. I would never have thought of it. Oh, right. Let's get him secured while he's still standing. 
Just put this right here, get that fastened, and... Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. <laughs> also, you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. Uh, but I still don't feel like I've thanked you enough. This is a little something for my premium collection. A special gift from me to you. Whoa. Now I can go to other places and put up more signs. And with that, I'm off. Nice. Okay. Close enough. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he kind of is, isn't he? This is the stealth suit that I like so much. I was concerned about just flying there instead of taking the fast way and fast traveling, but now I'm very glad that I took the slower route. I would never have found that Addison if I hadn't. Oh, do we have... Oh, it's a Lionel. That's fun. This is looking like it's somewhat difficult to rain, so I think even though it's a little early, I'm going to stop and charge up. You know, even though Baldur's Gate 3 has taken over my top spot for the year, and there's potential, maybe, for Starfield to do the same. N well, okay, I, I, I won't comment on Starfield, but this method of getting around Baldur's Gate just can't touch it. This is so fun. It's really good. We'll have to see how flying in Starfield is. Ah, hello, Link. Working hard at such a late hour. Good, good. How's it going? Are you and Penn getting along okay? Did you lose track of your partner? Let's see. Right around now, he should be canvassing New Serene Stable. It's a place out to the east, past the Skyview Tower. It used to be somewhere else, but after the new road was built, the place moved to the new location. It seems like it was the right move. Business is booming there. I'm not sure if that's why he headed out there, though. All he said was, the little birds are calling. Then he took off with a big grin on his face. Ah. Readers all over Hyrule have their eyes and ears peeled for any information about Princess Zelda's whereabouts. The Lucky Clover Gazette is equally eager and is happy to help however it can. Excellent. So where exactly are we going? We're going out east, huh? I think that's down here. No, that's Lakeside. That's Highland. That's Dueling Peaks. That's Riverside. What the heck? Then 
That's outskirt. Gerudo Canyon. Poplar Foothill Skyview Tower. What was the tower she identified? New Serene. Out to the east, past the Skyview Tower. Oh, she said east, not southeast, so maybe I'm thinking of the wrong area. I was thinking of the one that in Breath of the Wild had the axe in the roof that was spitting lightning. That might not be true. South Akala, Foothill, Woodland, East Akala. I suppose it's possible I just flat out have not discovered a stable. East past the... See, I wish she had said past so-and-so Skyview Tower. Skyview Tower itself is a little bit generic. I don't think there's a stable right near Luralin Village. We explored that area reasonably well. Shoot. Hmm. I wonder if maybe it's somewhere around here. Come on. There we go. Whoops. Let's give myself a waypoint on the map to aim for. So I'm thinking somewhere in this region. I never really explored too intensely in that area even in Breath of the Wild, let alone in Tears of the Kingdom. We've got 20 minutes until the first break of the stream. If I haven't found it by that time, I will look up a map online and find out where it is. Nobody ever told me Octorox were snipers.
<laughs> you could have told me they are. Yeah. I expect them to be pretty accurate when I'm running around on the ground or even in a ground vehicle. But when I'm flying at high speed, that's when I start to call shenanigans. Ooh. Might have to come back here at some point. Not today, sir. suddenly remembered my last death location right here because I flew up to the highest point it's possible to reach in the game and tried to skydive down to find the stone I was looking for to confirm that I didn't even need it and I missed on the chute or you know the, the glider I've been landing cross green pot shots since the first Zelda, that's fair. I actually found the uh, box for one of the random Zelda games that I played a long time ago. It was Legend of Zelda Four Sword Adventures, or Four Swords Adventures, whichever one it was. I also found my box for uh, Baldur's Gate 2 and the Icewind Dale collection. I can't find the original Baldur's Gate, but it's probably around somewhere. I know I've got the folder that had all six CDs that the game shipped on. I was going to wait until I got up on that rise, but that's okay. Oh, 
Someone needs our help. Well, that got my heart racing. You really are a good fighter. You saved me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please take this. As ever, I'm studying those strange machines that disperse Zonai defense or dispense Zonai devices. It seems like they actually get Zonai devices out of them is to put in something related to Zonai civilization. Mm. You'll get something different every time too, so you should try putting different things in to see what will come out. Ah. I think I'll rest a while then hit the road. I'll let you know how my research is proceeding when we meet again. I believe by law I am required to fly through the center of the ring there. Yep. Definitely. Okay, so we are looking for an eastward stable. We found a dragon. The stables always have the distinctive puffs of smoke. And I have to say... Oh, no, okay, that's the stable I would expect to see. That's the one we knew about. I don't see any others, though. doesn't really look like there's one around here, does it? Because the stables usually have the broken bits of smoke. Like, yeah. Like that. There's a plume over there, but that doesn't look right. Yeah, that's a monster camp. Not quite what we're after. Oop. I don't think I've been up here.
Okay. Whoops. Uh, whoa. Oh, I was going to say there had to be something hidden on that island. And there is. It's a Henox skeleton. Not really hidden, you know what I mean. What the heck? Three quarters of the way to 100. Damn. 75. That's amazing. Thank you so much, sir. How are you doing? It's really good to see you. Oh, here's the cherry tree. Oh, a broken heart. What? Well, this absolutely has meaning for some quest or a mission or something or other. Oh, hang on. That's not a... Oh, no, wait. That's the ancient tech lab. Lurking here, Ultra and Hippo, damn. You got all your bases covered. Yeah, I was hanging out in Ultra's stream and Ashlina's stream before I started my own. And I popped in to check on Greeny too. Okay, I am not at all certain where this alleged stable is supposed to be. I think I am going to have to... Oh. I think I am going to have to look it up. Let me just... Uh, go over the stables again. So we got Lakeside, we got Highland. Gerudo Canyon, Mini, Outskirt, Riverside, Dueling Peaks, Foothill, South Akala, East Akala, Oh. Wait. I flew right past it. Uh, 
Not only that, I flew right past it quite some time ago. being the case. And we will replomp down our marker. And we will go visit. This time with more actual visiting. It was pretty amusing earlier. Twitch gifted five subs in Hippo's channel, and he had to apologize for his inappropriate alert. Oh my god. That's amazing. So how did they take it? When he said sorry, they said, well, you should be. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Yeah, just so everybody here is aware, I'm going to be streaming tomorrow, too. I know today's not normally a stream day for me. And uh, neither is Thursday these days. But, oh, hang on. Oh. Well, that's awkward. Not today. But yeah, I'm going to I'll be on tomorrow as close as I can to about 8.30 in the evening for the release of Starfield. I know technically it'll be 8 o'clock, but I don't think I can make it quite that quickly. But if I can, I will. And then I'm just going to go till my usual time, three in the morning, maybe four, we'll see. We'll see how addicting Starfield is. But everything that I've seen, everything that I've read suggests that it is, oh, shoot, suggests that it is time for uh, the ads right now. So I will be back in just a few minutes, folks. It doesn't seem to open. That doesn't seem to work. I tried to give the deadly piranha poodles to the meat. Oddly enough, that does not seem to be working. Because we are going to have to go for the silly death, obviously. Open machine. Climb in machine. Well, Roger, it certainly appears as though you're about to become all washed up. <laughs> mm. 
wait, what? Open machine. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot okay luckily he's a terrible shot oh <laughs> I deserve that let's be honest mission you have a rifle. Why do you run up to point blank range? Look! Ket! Where there's Ket, there's trouble. We have to deal with this. Dealt with. How do you like the new shell? It's sleek. Can't wait to use the welder. Speaking you of. You be careful with that thing. If I want you to use it, I'll tell you. Exterminate! Exterminate! Oh my god. And cut that out! Wow. <laughs> Burn, you asshole. That's one down. Oh, crap. <laughs> Taking a look. Oh, is that a feather? But Okay, I am back. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, everything that I've read, everything that I've seen about Starfield so far really suggests that it is the space game I've always dreamed of. It's kind of the No Man's Sky concept with more story and with customizable ships that you can just build and fly around and you can have multiples of them. I'm gathering, I don't know if we'll find out tomorrow if that's true, of course, but ugh, it's just... I think that and Baldur's Gate are going to be mainstays on the channel for some time. What is... Oh, that's got to be another Korog thing, right? Floor at sound bar, or sandbar. There's already an online character build customizer that you can use to plan out your build that you're planning to do. It's not complete, of course, because we don't know everything that's in the full game. But it's given me an idea of what I might want to play. We'll have to see if I stick with it, though, because the idea I had was that I would take the background that gives me my dream home, but that comes with, like, that basically gives me... Uh, a really peaceful, beautiful planet with a house on it that I start with, but it also gives you a mortgage that you have to pay off every week. And then I would also start with the parents that you can actually go visit. And then for the third presumed last background bit that you can choose, I would take the wanted one so that mercenaries would occasionally come and try to murder me but also gives me the combat advantage that when my health gets below 50%, I do more damage. My thinking there is that with all these expenses, because the parents thing also takes, whoops, 2% of your income every week and sends it to them. So I'd be making probably significantly less money between the two things. But if I've occasionally got mercenaries showing up and uh, trying to murder me, 
I could potentially, you know, depending on how that all works mechanically in the game, if they've got chips, I could take their ships. If they don't got chips, I can loot their corpses and take their gear. And I can sell that. And I can get money that I can use to offset the expenses that I incur. But, I mean, I don't, haven't even loaded the game up yet because I won't be able to do that until later today, so... This is very much a plan that is not really a plan so much as uh, idle speculation. We'll have to see what the full range of options are. Anybody else planning on playing uh, Starfield? And if so, do you have any idea of how exactly you want to spend the game? How you want to play it? I am definitely interested in going the interplanetary or, you know, interstellar explorer route. I want to hit the unknown, visit all the planets find cool stuff. It sounds like they have designed this game specifically with me in mind because it very much sounds like there may be archaeology in the game. I don't need to tell you guys how excited I am about that. If it's true. Ah! Back again, sir. Whoops. Oh, sorry. Don't mind me. Just passing through. beast that's rumored to be a mountain of a creature and has huge brutal tusks. Wait, it wouldn't be the guy on the bridge, would it? We might have a real situation here if the princess really is controlling it. Ah. Well, for now, we need to gather more information. There was a visitor here talking about sightings of the rumored beast in a subtropical region to the south. Hopefully you can pluck out some more details by checking in at stables. Monsters tend to be, get more active when the sun sets. Be careful if you're heading out to investigate. Side adventures. Pen has heard rumors that some have seen Princess Zelda riding a mountainous beast with brutal tusks. These sightings come from all over, but seem to happen more in the subtropical region in the south. You may learn the truth behind these rumors at various stables from the travelers who gather there. Well, that definitely sounds like this general area. So maybe we head to Outskirt Stable first, because that's not too far away. Back. Oop. Oop. Made it. Okay.
Well, look at that. We have a meteor strike. I have to go collect that. I have no choice. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, no, where? Oh, shoot. Oh, that's awkward. Let me control it. Thank you. <laughs> I thought I lost it. It moved out of my way. That's very kind of it. they put the stable ah that's a former Edison location we already did that one. Oh no those are zonite fans why are what Ugh. I can make a new one using this steering column over here. It'll be a little cheaper to construct. Okay. We want to talk to people here, right? I'm glad to see you made it to Outskirt Stable. These horses are quite the charmers, eh? They used to be stabled southwest of here in Gerudo Canyon. But when the weather changed after the upheaval, it took that stable by surprise. The horses couldn't handle the extreme temperature, so I took them in. Oh. Say, have you heard any rumors about skeletal horses? If you take the road north, there's a place called the Saint Sanadin Park Ruins. Folks say they appear there night after night. Are they spirits of dead horses that can't move on, or cursed horses born in the upheaval, or... <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. I lose my head as soon as the conversation turns to horses. Well, I expect it's just a rumor, but if it were true, I'd sure like to meet one. Hmm? Now, that is just far too big to be a star, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> sorry. There's something glowing in the sky in the southeast, and I am determined to find out what it is. Mm. It's obviously beyond the scope or even the reach of a field survey. No, my eyes probe the sky. I have a duty to report anything about Sky Islands to our group in Kakariko Village, often included to the east. Enough cleaning. Let me work with horses. If you're looking for a guide, I'm... Okay, we've got the stable trotters over here. What do you have to say? Ma. 
You're the one who helped the great fate fairy Kesa? I'll be. You know, folks say she grants travelers a blessing that gives them stronger protection. We're honored that the great fairy made her home here. <laughs> I'm so relieved that she's doing better. Tr thank you, truly. A special edition, huh? I hope it isn't anything bad. Princess Zelda sighted. What? While observing Hyrule Castle via her telescope, renowned scientist Pura reportedly spotted Princess Zelda. Wow, if this is true, then that's a huge breakthrough, isn't it? Hey, Beetle. Okay, I don't think anybody here knows. Unless maybe this guy. Hey there, Traveler. Welcome to Oatsco Stable. The Stable Trotters are here right now, so do yourself a favor and listen to them perform. Piper, the flautist, he's my favorite. The sounds of his flute make all your worries melt away. Okay, I don't think there's anything relevant at this stable. I'm gonna have to move on. Oh, which means I should probably mark the next stable we need to get to. And it looks like that would be down here. Hello, who might you be? <laughs> who am I? <gasps> what? What the hell? Hello? Huh. Excuse me, Traveler. Do you know me by any chance? Who am I? Where am I? Am I some sort of villain or a force for good? I know when I can't remember who I am, that's a question I always ask. I just can't remember. You're Princess Zelda. Oh. Zelda, that's right. I'm Princess Zelda. Thank you. Now I remember. I didn't think you would fall for the same trick again. Clearly, Zelda makes for good bait. Oh, okay. When we find the real Zelda, we'll send her straight to you. I'm a little disappointed in their setup this time. Just kind of standing around in a cave isn't quite as impressive as the last thing they did. Temple of Time ruins. Oh, the Gleok is there. That's fun.
Okay, let's set down here. Ah. Almost perfect. There we go. I'm a little surprised Beetle doesn't invest in one of these devices. It would save him so much time. Yeah. You a nomad? Suppose you've already seen the horses around the fair and grasslands then. Well, I grew up taming those horses, and I polished my riding skills till they shrine. In fact, I'm sure there's nobody better than me, but these days putting my riding skills to the test isn't enough. Ooh. So being the horse enthusiast I am, I've come up with a contest guaranteed to push me even further. And what is this contest exactly? Huh? Why, it's a race to see how fast you can gallop around the course without losing the cargo off the horse's trailer. Oh. In fact, if you fancy yourself skilled in the horsemanship department, why not take a run at my record? Mm -mm. Uh. I thought you had harder bark on you than that. Well, you ever change your mind, come back and see me. That's not gonna happen, sir. <laughs> Multitask. <laughs> scenic spots. Let's get scenic. My first suggestion has to be the stable nearby. It's called Lakeside Stable. You'll find it if you take the road toward the east at the edge of Lake Gloria. From there, my next suggestion is nearby. Go farther east, turn south at the ocean, and you'll reach a resort town. Luralin Village, it's called. The perfect place for weary travelers looking to relax. The village was attacked by pirates recently. Isn't that awful? Thankfully, someone chased them off, so it should be safe now. And I hear rebuilding efforts are underway. I've got plenty more scenic, scenic spots to recommend. Just say the word. <laughs> I had a couple customers recently who weren't interested in any of my recommendations. Can you believe that? They said they were headed south toward the Lake of the Horse God and didn't have time for detours. I believe they wanted to find the giant white stallion or the god of horses. Anyway, I appreciate you taking an interest in my scenic spots. Come talk to me again anytime. How did I not know there was a Korok here? Where are you going, little buddy? Oh, up there, huh? Maybe I can help with that. I'll see if I can get him balanced on my bike. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. That wasn't so bad. It 
wasn't a cow. Oh, hello. Mind if I ask you about that question of mine again? Have you seen a rather strange animal around here? That's right. It was a stocky animal that was wider than a horse and had strange horns, but not like a cow's or goat's. Oh, and it had tusks that made the beast look like a little brute. I saw the animal once in the forest off to the east. I rushed closer to get a good look, but it ran off by the time I got there. I'd never seen anything like it. I must say the whole experience was shocking. Some travelers passed through here from Lakeside Stable and said they'd seen a similar animal. So maybe I'll find it again somewhere. It's probably those beasts there. Have I never been down this well? What the heck? You know what? I think I have been here, now that I think about it. I'm pretty sure I recognize this. Good job, guys. Emblazoned shield. <laughs> Durability three? Wow. Um, I think I'll pass, but thanks. Do I not have any? Wow, okay. Can't fuse a treasure chest. That's unfortunate. Maybe I can take that. No. I'll use this as a sledge until it breaks and then I'll pick up the real sledge.
Oh, we have a uh, Mr. Silver. Hello, Mr. Silver. That was a little too high. Good job. Thank you, guys. Yep. Shield of the mind's eye. But no splinter. Okay, there's something nearby. It's making a sound, and I don't remember what it signifies. a bit of a split cave here. Oh. Oh, wow. That's a very nice find. Another ancient blade, only the second one that I've got so far. A rare remnant of the... Uh... What the heck? Oh, I can safely ignore that. Um, a remnant of the... whatchamacallit? The tech used in Breath of the Wild. There's another silver guy here. And dead. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, hang on. Mm. Not wasting a bomb on a blue guy. That's better. <laughs> Royal. 
final broadsword. Okay. Armored Porgy. I'm going to catch a bunch of these. Mighty Porgy. Okay, I should probably get back to land before I lose all my stamina. I'm still hearing that sound. I don't know what that's about. Can Oh, I can't drop stuff here? You're kidding me. I can drop stuff here. Thank you guys. Oh, actually, I don't need to waste bombs. I just need you know, boo. shoreline cave now unfortunately we have traveled quite a long distance from the highland stable and that means that I've almost certainly lost my bike but instead of getting that back again since we're trying to find a monster I don't know about, about uh, zipping around on a bike as a valid search strategy. Depending on what you're looking for, it can actually be quite good. But I'm thinking in this case... Actually, you know, in this case... Oh, wait a minute. The Gleok is back again. I was going to go to Outskirt Stable, build my vehicle, and drive back. But I would have to drive through the Gleok which, surprisingly enough, does not excite me greatly. So 
So I think maybe instead of doing that... Maybe I will invest in a truck. Definitely going to have to get some more stuff. Okay, we're coming in the up on the fork in the road here. I don't suppose this person has a report. Just look at the sunset fireflies glittering across the forest. Otherworldly, isn't it? There's so many here that it's easy to collect them so long as you're quiet. But enough about me. Is there anything you need? I carry quite a few things that you may find useful. Ah. He's selling sunset fireflies and pointing out that I can collect them for free very easily. Ah. No report, huh? Okay. There's that guy there. I don't know if he counts as a strange animal, though. More of a bokoblin kind of thing. Oh, are you not going to carry on? I was kind of waiting for you to move your vehicle. I guess he's probably waiting for me to do the same, huh? Well, oh, sorry. Let me move around back here. Oh, back. Ugh. Sir, would you please kindly find? Whoops. in here. Well, there's another thing up here.
Where's your cave? Oh. Right there, huh? Let's at least get it marked. Pagos Woods Excavation Site? Shoot, I'm going to lose my car. And that was an expensive car, but we have to investigate this. What the heck? There are trip wires. And lots of components to make building machines. What? This is amazing. Okay, clearly it wants me to build a machine, but what does it want me to make? There's a bubble frog in there. Let's take a look at the wheels we have available. We've got the larger wheels. We've got a few of the smaller wheels. We've got fans. We've got sleds. Or, uh, you know, carts, rather, whatever they're called. Okay, that looks like that fits on the allotted space. What thing they have not given us is a control stick. Which I suppose I could pull one out. Or I could try using it without. First of all, Yunobu, you're going back into storage, buddy. I'm not sure I like this car. Is that having any kind of... Oh, you know, that is having a good effect. That's opening the path.
Nice. Five minutes, folks. In five minutes, we are gonna have ourselves another little break. Now, how the heck do I get in there? I suppose I can shoot through the bars, huh? I actually can. Shambling, what the heck? Thank you so much for coming in with the raid. How are you doing? It is lovely to see you, folks. If you do not know Shambling Undead already, she is a fantastic, wonderful streamer, good friend of the channel. Uh, we've known you for quite a while now. I know you through uh, Nalvara's channel. How are you doing tonight? What was your stream like? What were you up to? Please tell me all the things. What were you playing this evening? Let me just get you some shout outs. Always love a good undead raid. Retro, what were you playing under Retro this evening? Here we are. Chrono Trigger. Oh, man, that game has been coming up a lot lately because there's a new uh, game that's kind... It's not a retro game, but it's retro-styled, very sort of high-res, pixel-graphic type stuff that reminds people a lot of Chrono Trigger in some ways. So, yeah. Sea of Stars, yes, that's the one. That's I, I see you're familiar with it. Uh, yeah, so if you're not following Chambling, please make sure you do. She's a fantastic, wonderful streamer. You will not regret spending time with her. If you've never been here before, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games, Excuse me. And every once in a while, I throw in a Lego build or so. So if any of that sounds good to you, please feel free to hit the follow button. And I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. 16-9. Four factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. No, oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that... Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. Oh 
Wow. There you go. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts. Uh, so let's be, see. I've been following the game for a while, and I know a lot of people were excited because it looked very similar to Chrono Trigger. I decided that before I play Sea of Stars, I wanted to play Chrono Trigger, and I kind of feel like I don't have any more excuses not to play it now that Sea of Stars is actually out. That's a very good reason. And I've never finished Chrono Trigger, but I have played a little bit of it. It's a classic for a reason. It is really, really good. So I hope you're enjoying it. What's What are your thoughts so far? How far into it are you? Um, let me see. We're playing a little bit of Tears of the Kingdom tonight because I still haven't finished it. I've been hitting Baldur's Gate very hard, and I pre-ordered Starfield, which means I will be getting access to Starfield at 8 p.m. tomorrow. So I will be streaming that as quickly as I can and probably devoting a good chunk of the next two weeks just to Starfield. So I wanted to get a little bit more of Tears of the Kingdom in because I have, I, I, I've been kind of neglecting it a little bit now that Baldur's Gate 3 is out. I just beat the first real boss in the game. Oh, that's awesome. That's really, really fun. I'm glad it's going well. So what kind of stuff happened to you in the game this evening? Uh, what have you been up to in it? I'm just trying to figure out this area here. I've discovered a cave in an area that I've passed through any number of times and never discovered before. So I'm trying to see if there's anything... I need to get into this little walled-off area over here. I just killed a bubble frog, and I need to collect the gem. But there's no path over there. Which kind of makes me think I need to zap through the ceiling to get to another passage. The problem with that line of thinking is... If I guess wrong, I'm just... Well, actually, you know what? You can back out of the decision if you feel like it, so let's give it a shot. See, this is taking too long. Yeah. Let's go back. Maybe if I'm closer to the wall. Probably not, though. Probably not. No. Okay. See, yeah, and I don't see any spots in the ceiling here where you might be able to drop down from. I surprisingly got a lot of gear, which was great. I think it's the smoothest RPG you've ever played. Everything flows so well in combat. That is a pretty good indication of a great game. That's really awesome. Uh... Gonna lurk since you still haven't played this, but just wanted to bring the homies your way. I appreciate it so much, Shambling. Thank you so much. Uh, just also a little word of warning. I am... Ooh, what is that down there? I wonder if I get in through a different cave system. Uh, anyway, what I was gonna say, uh, word of warning. I am gonna be taking a, a quick break in roughly a minute or so. I have ads coming up in a minute or two and so what I like to do is I run clips while the ads are on so that you guys don't have to endure them you can just uh, you know not miss any gameplay so that's what I like to do for that wow that's awkward right in an enemy camp all right I wonder. Let me just try one last thing. I'm going to try... Oh. Right, I forgot. I can just shoot right through that grating. I don't suppose I can walk right through it. No? Okay. Well, 
maybe I'll give it a shot for another couple of minutes after I get back from break, but I am going to take the break now. So if you need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack, this is a really good time to do it. So I'll meet you back here in about three and a half to five minutes or so. Are wrecking my ant crossing. Get the heck out. Look at this mess you made. Rude. that down please you're making it hard to aim thank you you're in a passage you're in a maze of twisty little passages all alike I hope you're not planning on picking my pocket uh... that was weird <laughs> oh, that was a great one. Oh, you're still with us. Take a swim. Actually, hang on. Confidently, you cast the calm spell. Why, how cute. You cast the calm spell and the monster visibly relaxed. Why, now it's calmly and relaxedly ripping you to shreds and eating you. <sighs> you should have studied harder. Wow. Huh? Hang gliding in the rain is my favorite thing. I do have The Witcher 3 for PS4. Oh, shoot! Nice! Not bad. believe I killed it okay I am back let's get back to it I'm gonna poke at this just a little more it really does almost look like you have to get in from below but I don't see any place where we can go downwards oh Oh, 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 oh. Okay. 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 Hammer, how are you doing? It's great to see you. There we go. 
I found it. Five bubble gems. My car is still around. Probably not. Oh my god, it is. And the dude with the wagon is still just hanging out there. You're really just not gonna move, sir? I'm parked too close, am I? There you go. Sorry to keep you there for so many hours. <laughs> Boy, dumb, what's going on? I can't believe I get to experience this excitement twice in the space of a month, but happy Launchmas Eve. I love that. Yes, oh my god, I am so excited for Starfield. I was mentioning earlier in the stream, Winters, I've already been sort of thinking about what kind of character I want to play because there's a site out there now that's taken the little information we know about the starting, you know, the statistics of characters and whatnot and what we know of the systems, and it's put together a build planner. So what I've been thinking based on what they've shown us so far is an explorer who goes out into unknown space and charts new star systems and planets and whatnot. That's definitely what I want to orient myself towards. Uh, I want to take, or at least, you know, I'll probably make different decisions when I actually get the full suite of choices available to us. But I'm thinking I definitely want to have the option that means you, your parents are still around and you can go and visit their home and whatnot, but you sacrifice about 2% of your pay every time period. Uh, that goes to help support them. I was also thinking it might be good to take the dream home option so that I myself have a dream home on this nice, calm, beautiful, quiet planet where I can just go and build and whatnot, except that that comes with a massive mortgage and you have to pay that mortgage off on a weekly basis. So uh, that that kind of amounts to a fair amount of money going out and <laughs> so to somewhat counterbalance that, I was also thinking that maybe I'd be a wanted fugitive or, you know, wanted for some reason. Somebody's posted a bounty on my head, so there's a large reward for my death or capture. And so periodically mercenaries appear to try to collect on that. And then that would allow me to take their gear and potentially if they happen to have a ship, maybe I can take their ship. I don't know how that works yet. And, you know, just basically stuff that I can sell off to try to fund all these payments that I have to make until eventually I can pay off my mortgage. And then at that point, it'll just be the amount of money deducted for having your parents around. So I think that could be a lot of fun. Uh, what is this guy? That looks like a moblin. We're going to ignore these guys. Those are not the monsters we're looking for. We're still trying to track down the reports of the strange monster. Let's see if I can get over this. Watch out, squirrel. Oh, God. Oh, this might have been an error. Oh, my God. What is... Well, you know what? I'm actually making it. It's maybe not the smoothest crossing ever. Oh, but don't... You... I got stuck on the last one. You're kidding me. Moose. It's good to see you. What's going on? I'm going on with the Luddite option, not using any tech and just walking around one planet collecting resources in the mud. <laughs> you know, I would bet you that you're probably not going to be the only person doing that. Huh? 
it sounds like that might very well be a valid way to play. And that is, in fact, such a possibility that that is the specific reason that No Man's Sky is designed so that every planet has only a single biome. They were legitimately worried that if they made their planets too interesting, you would never leave the first planet you were on. You would just spend all of your time, the entire game, wandering around that one planet, seeing what there is to see, and never go off and see the rest of the whole frickin' universe. Sounds like a build that will give you lots of RP opportunity and an actively changing economy to keep things interesting. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. But of course, that's my thinking right now. That thinking is not going to survive contact with the game because the game is going to have a lot more options than they've shown us so far. And it is entirely possible, perhaps even probable, that there will be options there that I find even more appealing. So my build will probably not actually be that. Although, if this is true to other Bethesda games, it is quite likely that I'm going to end up playing this game for the next 10 years. So who knows what I might end up doing with future builds and characters. Maybe I will go back to that initial concept one day and uh, actually give it a shot. Okay, so it looks like we want to go this way. You're not the weird monster, are you? What are you? I think you're just a regular water buffalo. Huh. Well, that was unexpected, but it's not what we were looking for. Electric Darner. I can't believe that's the first Electric Darner I've got all game. the heck is this thing? Oh, it's one of these guys. I actually don't care about killing him. Let's see if he gives it up. Yep, he's giving up already. Okay.
I just wasn't sure about his shell of electricity at first. Was wondering if maybe he was the thing I'm looking for. Turns out not so much. And that's fine. Beetle! We must be. Yeah, there's the stable. Sorry, Beetle. Coming through. Crying out loud. Of all the places those monsters could go, they decide to settle down in those caves? Our caves? I wonder if there's some way to chase them out for the stable's sake. Mm? Hmm? Oh, hello. Hello. I was so deep in thought, I didn't notice you there. You didn't happen to uh, hear what I was saying, did you? I guess you did hear. There are three caves that appeared around here after the upheaval. They're all up there. One is near Cordal Lake. Another next to Rodi Lake. And the last over by Kalora Lake. Oh. Huge deposits of luminous stone can be mined in those caves, so they're popular spots for travelers. Or they were. Then three giant monster brothers showed up. Those three used to be over in the Taran Pass to the northeast, but now they're in our region hogging the caves for themselves. If we don't do something, travelers will stop coming here and business at the stable will dry up. Uh. <laughs> I can't win. It's not as though they'll up and leave. Ousting the giants. I don't think those are the monsters that we're looking for, sadly. Which doesn't mean we can't do something about it. Oh. Hey, you're an adventurer, aren't you? You've got to be out to... You've got to be to get out here. I bet you've come to see the strange creatures, or maybe all the old ruins around this area? I'll tell you, this area has its challenges. The heavy rains make steady footing hard to come by. Ah. Still, if you wander around, you never know what you'll find. Just don't let any lightning find you first. Oh. Let's see, what's in this issue of the Lucky Clover Gazette? Oh. Yunobu Co. unearths new purpose. Hmm... Marbled rock that had been affecting the Gorons has vanished, and Yunobuko, who was responsible for digging it up, has announced a commitment to restoring Goron City. I hope that means they'll reopen their gem stores. If I remember right, their prices were really, really good, like half the normal price. There's so much to read in these newspapers. Oh, here's something. A great fairy has been spotted. Great fairy Terra has been seen recently, perhaps enticed by the beautiful music of the stable trotters. Hmm, if I remember right, the great fairies are known to bestow their blessings upon travelers. Maybe I should seek one of the four sisters out and try to receive a blessing. Mm. There's so much to read in these newspapers. Oh. Ah, this is the same one again. Mm. Uh. Oh. I've gotten nose for news and I heard there are some unusual ruins around here in a cave near the waterfall. I'm tempted to go there, but right now I'm way more interested in the rest of this newspaper. If I'm not here... Ah, forgive me. I do hope I wasn't in the way. The meal on this poster sure looks tasty, doesn't it? I want Ty, my husband, to come home from his travels to a wonderful meal. Now that Lurlin Village is free of pirates, I was hoping to go buy some seafood. Mm. But what if my wonderful husband, Ty, returns from his travels while I'm away? He'd surely worry if I were gone. Should I wait patiently for him to come back? Okay, so that's what? Tomatoes, some sort of crab, and a fish. Let's see if I have matches to those things. Well, I've got tomato. That's definitely an armored porgy. And it looks like it could very well be Iron Shell Crab. 
Sorry. Do we have a cook fire? Is that a cook fire? It's a bonfire. That doesn't look like a cook fire. There's no pot. Up close if I can. I'd like to get a close look at the animals over there, but darn it all, they'll run off when people get close. Fascinating creatures. Stocky build. Bulky animals, all of them. What I wouldn't give to get a closer look. Better yet, to touch one. Oh, hi there. Didn't really notice you walk up, buddy. I've been looking across the way there. I wonder, are you curious about the unusual animals over there, too? Ah, <laughs> uh, so you're curious about them, too. Then you must have a keen mind. Oh! Wow. I've... I've never noticed them. Those are a species of animal that few have ever seen called Dondons. They were discovered in this area. A young woman on the opposite bank has been taking care of them. She really knows her stuff. If you'd like to learn more, buddy, I'd suggest you, that you talk to her. Speaking of new kinds of creatures, a pair of fellows visited the Sable recently and said they're searching for some unusual creatures. They're seeking a giant white stallion and nothing less than the horse god. Unusual indeed, that stallion sounds much larger than a horse, and that god is surely much greater than a creature. Those two headed west of here toward the lake of the horse god. You could go talk to them if this sounds intriguing. Not really. Okay, those things there are specifically why I came here, so... I no longer need that truck... But how do I get over that way? Okay, it looks like it's easier to cross over back this way. Truly doted on them. Oh. oh my, you must have come quite a long way. Uh. This is a sanctuary for Dondons, the new animal species discovered by Princess Zelda. Dondons are quite precious as we've only found five of their kind in the wild. Please be gentle if you touch them. They might look intimidating, but, they've got no but you've got nothing to worry about. They're a good-natured sort. When the princess came to research the Dondons, they used to go tromping around after her wherever she went. I think they're actually quite fond of us two-legged folk. Mm. That reminds me, did you hear that rumor about Princess Zelda being seen riding a beast? Well, I'd bet what people actually saw was her with the Don Don back when she established the sanctuary. It just goes to show how much rumors can take on a life of their own. Don Dons aren't beastly. They're adorable. Hi. Hey, partner! Mm hmm? Hmm? I think I'd definitely like my character to have a nice house to come home to, so I can pretty much say that's locked in. It sounds simple, but I'm keen to do some interplanetary trucking. That's actually one of the backgrounds you can select, is you can be a space trucker. Literally. I caught sight of you while I was looking into things at the stable here. I've heard there are rare animals around here somewhere. How about you help me dig into the story here, partner? What? Hold on. You're saying this all relates to that beast people have seen Princess Zelda riding around on? Mm. So, it wasn't a beast after all, just a newly discovered animal called a Don Don. And it was Princess Zelda herself conducting research on them. Huh? Wow, rumors can really get out of hand, can't they? I mean, it's hardly a mountain of a beast, not even a small hill. All that talk of brutal tusks was overblown, too. Oh. That's why a good reporter must confirm the details before they go to print. You did a good job, partner. Hmm. We've worked together to chase 12 of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Huh. I can't hear the chirps and warbles of my little birds anymore. It seems like this was the final rumor about Princess Zelda. I'm going to report this to Tracy. That means that this is probably the last addition to your nest egg, partner. Wow. Nice. Ah. I don't think there's a reporter anywhere else in Hyrule who makes the kind of money we're making. 
it really goes to show you how much Tracy, I mean, how much the newspaper values you. If I'm being honest, though, I have a feeling our days of swooping in on scoops are at an end. <sighs> Some water must have gotten caught under my goggles. It really was a blast, partner. All that's left is to head back to the Lucky Clover Gazette and let Tracy know that the job's finished. I'm going to hurry back and get the real story published. You take care, partner. So long. You and Penn worked together to investigate the rumors regarding Princess Zelda that had popped up in each region. Thanks to your efforts, the truth of each rumor was revealed. Head back to the Lucky Clover Gazette and check in with Tracy. Okay, well, before we do that, I have a meal to cook. We want tomatoes. We want a mighty porgy and we want an iron shell crab. Tough tomato seafood soup. That sounds disgusting. I hope her husband appreciates it. not lose my truck. Oh, ah. mm. ah. oh I, I guess that wasn't actually a mission for me. Just a recipe I can look at getting. What's the news? The beautiful city of water floods with joy at New King's Rise. The sludge that worried so many Zora has vanished. In its wake, Prince Zidon, lo loyal servant, has ascended the throne. It's really something to see a change in leadership for the Zora. They live such long lives. What a happy story. There's so much to read in these newspapers. Oh, here's an interesting piece. Stable Trotter's triumphant return. The Stable Trotters musical group has ended its hiatus and returned to the business of making music. Oh. Huh. Now that I think about it, I haven't seen them in a while. I can't wait for their next performance. Mm. Oh. I've gotten news for news and I heard there are unusual ruins around here and a cave near the waterfall. I'm tempted to go there, but right now I'm way more interested in the rest of this newspaper. Okay. I'm not going to use my vehicle to get back. We're just going to go visit Tracy the old-fashioned way. Oh, wait. This old-fashioned way. So Space Trucker can be a legit part of my character's identity, not just headcanon. Yes, I have heard disturbing reports that... There's no actual fluctuating, like, supply and demand-based economy in the game, which is very sad, and which I expect modders will fix in short notice if Bethesda doesn't do it themselves with an expansion or DLC. But uh, it could also be that the report is wrong. It seems weird to me that they would go to the trouble of adding a space trucker background and then make space trucking a pointless endeavor. Ma! Aha! Our trusty reporter! So, Link, Pence filled me in on all the latest. We're relieved that you managed to get to the bottom of every one of those rumors about Princess Zelda. And our paper circulation is stronger than ever. I'm almost speechless. Huh. Enough of that. You probably just want what I promised. Well, fair enough. Here's what you earned. A good hood for a rainy day. 
The perfectly weighted headband keeps the wearer focused and stabilized, making it easier to climb wet, slippery surfaces. Wow. What do you think? Pretty good, huh? That will really help you stick to wet surfaces without slipping. Uh. In the end, we didn't actually uncover where Princess Zelda is. I've got the scoop on that if you want it. But now I just now I know just who to call when we get another good lead. Until then, Link, you keep doing what you do. Your part in all this will be clear soon enough, I bet. Oh. As for Penn, well, I've given him some time off with pay. Well deserved, too. He did a lot of reporting. I did tell him, hey, you say something nice to your partner after all this? I think I put him on the spot, Link. He looked at me in an odd sort of way and flew off with barely a sore lung. He was right in the middle of writing a news article, too. I can't say I know what that was about. He's bottling something up. Maybe. If that's not a teaser for an upcoming DLC story series, I don't know what is. I really hope the paper gets involved. That's got to be one of my favorite quest lines so far in the game, is helping out with the paper and tracking down all the rumors. It's such a fantastic way to motivate the player to do stuff. And ugh, I, I just, I, I really like this part of the game. I'm sad it's over now. Okay. In fact, now I'm not sure what I want to work on next. Princess Zelda suddenly appeared at the floating Hyrule Castle alongside a red moon. Much is still unclear, but you should go to Hyrule Castle to check things out. Yeah, I if they do a whole DLC like the one for Breath of the Wild and make it based around the Lucky Clover working with Tracy and Penn, I would be all over that. Okay. I mean, I guess we could go to the castle. to me I already visited you waiting waiting for you no oh, okay so they've given me a specific location to go to interesting there's an awful lot of gloom here I can't help but notice So she's up a level. Good thing I've got climbing gear. I like the music. The music here is very nice. In a creepy, hostile sort of way. Okay. <laughs> 
Ow. You jerk, you're not supposed to see me when I'm sneaking. I'm super excited for Starfield to, for sure, but the last day or so another thought has been invading my mind. What if, after all this anticipation, I don't like the game? I think I'm letting the loud naysayers creep into my mind, though. I'm not trying to... I'm trying not to think of specifics too much for that exact reason. In much the same way that with Baldur's Gate 3, I'm trying not to build up the city of Baldur's Gate itself too much in my head either. I just want to experience it for what it is instead of what my imagination tells me it could be and see how things go from there. Ah, crap. I lost it. <laughs> oh, well. <clears throat> okay, so it's across that way over there. Yeah, because in the case of Baldur's Gate, I have very, very, very fond memories of playing through the bulk of that first game and then finally reaching the city itself. And it was so beautiful at the time. Like, the graphics, they're still beautiful now, but, I mean, they're very old graphics at this point, so it doesn't have the same impact. Back then, it was breathtaking. And I'm just hoping that the new game... Oh, is that her down there? I'm hoping that the new game can at least capture some of that level of, you know, wow factor. Is this Yiga Clan again or Fake Princess? Oh, it's Fake Princess. Ah, rude. Rude. Nice of them to pause combat for me. Oh, Royal Halber Halberd. Um, I know for a fact I've got the Eightfold Blade done already. Let's grab that. I'm pretty sure I have that too. But just in case. Rude. down to B3 then. How do I get there? Wait, where that... 
What? No. I think I made a wrong turn. Okay, so where are we in relation? We want to go there. That looks like it might be a way in. Oh, or I could go over this way. That definitely looks like a way in. They could build a whole game just around the city of Baldur's Gate and you'd be happy. I can't wait to see it. Greeny popped in earlier tonight. He's also streaming right now, by the way, uh, for those of you who follow both of us. He is playing Baldur's Gate, and he just got to Act 3. So I'm sure he will be in the city of Baldur's Gate itself soon. If he's not there already. I actually asked him about that while he was here, and he did mention that he thinks he has a ways to go yet. I can't judge whether or not that's true. I remember this room so incredibly well. There she is. I should probably heal up a little bit. <laughs> oh, wow. That was, oh my God, that's a big one. What the heck? Good, not good. Oh. Even less good. Was that thing I just picked up? Excuse me. Oh, Kinox guts. Okay.
Greeny, we were just talking about you. How are you doing? Yeah, I finished the quest line with Tracy and Pen. So I thought, well, might as well go to the castle. I might have to dip out of the castle again. I'm running a little low on food and health, but I'm here. Yep, we were we we've been talking about Starfield all night and Baldur's Gate 3 and I was uh we were talking Three Winters said he really loves Baldur's Gate in Baldur's Gate 3, like the actual city of Baldur's Gate. Um Oh shoot, she's there. I don't know that I can do another major battle right this second. Oh, whoops. I'm gonna I think this is where I dip out and return after I do a little bit of cooking. Uh, and I was talking about how much I loved my first encounter, and so I'm trying not to think about it too much, and how you got to Act 3. And... So you would be at the city of Baldur's Gate very shortly if you're not already. How's that going, by the way? Did you make it to the city, or are you still en route? Okay. Let's go home. We can return any moment. So that's two major boss battles with fake Zelda down. However many to go. Not even to the bridge that leads to the outer city. There's so much. <laughs> That's awesome. That's what I like to hear. The way I am thinking of it, until City Skylines 2 comes out, it's basically Zelda, Baldur's Gate 3, and Starfield for the rest of 2023. I want uh, Zelda to be done by the time Cities comes out so that I can, um, you know, I can just focus on those three games. The uh, Baldur's Gate 3, Starfield, and City Skylines 2. And then once I'm done with the rest of that, I'll be good. You met Orin the third baddie. She was the redhead from the trailer. Oh, very cool. I was saying they could make an entire game just around the city and you would be happy. Yeah. I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it at all. Oh, I have a golden apple. What kind of recipes do I have? I don't have many recipes using this. Boosts movement speed. Let's make a few things that boost movement speed. I've got a fair number of truffles. Endura shroom, rush room. Swift violet. Okay, so I think those are all of our options there. I'll do prime meat and we'll do... There. <laughs> Pasty steamed tomatoes, very nice. Mighty bananas? Oh, actually, no. Um, this is the... Wow. Wow. 
I have not done much with truffles, have I? I'm kind of disappointed I met Ko's character so late in my playthrough, I actually had to look up where to find him. I wonder if he was a little broken, though. He wasn't annoyingly following me around. You, uh, He's not supposed to be the Nuber equivalent, though. Or is he? Oh, he is, isn't he? Maybe a good thing to encounter him later. Okay, hearty truffle. Raw prime meat. We'll do some egg. No, it's hearty, not mighty. I must have something else that's hearty. Wow, okay. Hardy things are very hard to come by in this game, then. And, um, where's salt? There we go. Oh. No room for salt. That's okay. <laughs> Full recovery plus five. Excellent. Okay. So I'll use those four and I'll just... Oh, I can't do the... Right, okay, so we'll do greens then instead. Or no. I'll go ahead and use salt. <laughs> Full recovery plus one. That's... I, I'll take that. That's good. Hearty salt grilled prime meat. Oh, now I'm out of eggs. That's okay. We'll do the same recipe, but we'll use chicolo tree nut instead of eggs. It's a common substitute for those of you not aware. Hearty salt grilled prime meat. Excellent. good recipe. Ah, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> just the regular version that time. This recipe seems to come out particularly good uh, quite often. That's really nice. I'm probably just going to cook this one until I run out of spots for food or until I run out of ingredients for it again. Oh, 
Oh, and five minute warning, guys. I will be taking what is likely to be my final break of the night in about five minutes. I think I just ran out of something. There go the truffles. Okay. Well, I don't have anything that will replace the hardy aspect. Let's see how it works with Hyrule Bass. <laughs> Salt grilled prime meat. Nothing too terribly impressive. Um... Stamina. Increased strength. We could try that. That's not too bad. All right. Todd says they did a lot with food in Starfield. I hope that does include a cooking system. Well, someone had to make all those sandwiches. Okay, let's head back. Lots of sandwich banditry will be going on. I am going to resist the common impulse. People are going to have to collect all the sandwiches. I'm going to do what I do in Skyrim and reject the cheese wheel hegemony and go with books instead. I don't know if it's going to be books in Starfield. I don't know if there are books to be collected. But I'll choose something of my own choice, not just what everybody else is collecting. Because they think it's cool. Not that sandwiches aren't cool. Sandwiches are very awesome. I approve of sandwiches in a way I have never approved of cheese wheels. This is probably a poor place and time to be meeting up with Zelda again. Just because we have that break coming up right now. <clears throat> Let me guess, someone stole your jam sandwich. Yes, exactly. I can't wait to find all the references. All right, guys, it's a minute or two until the break starts. I'm just going to go ahead and start it right now. So we can confront Zelda and have our next boss battle. Uh, when I get back from it. So if you need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack, this is a very good time to do it. So I'll meet you back here in three and a half to five minutes or thereabouts. Alera, I have a special task that would be perfect for you. However, I would just be signing your death warrant if I were to give it to you now. When you are more skillful, return to me and I may give it to you then. Perfect. So you're basically saying I'm an incompetent wreck. Thanks. Examine hole. Whatever is in that hole just enjoyed lunch on you. This should teach you to be cautious when encountering alien holes. Thank you for playing Space Quest. Too bad you failed miserably. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my. Now you know why they wanted to close the hole behind you. You have become the unwilling victim of the dreaded cave squid. Tough luck. You know, I think that might very well be the very first time I have ever seen the cave squid. The droid engages its patrol mode and moves off to carry out your programmed instructions. Good job. I guess I don't need to worry about the data spikes then. <laughs> They've lost my trail because I am so incredibly inconspicuous. Wow, who knew Struthiomimus was so strong? How do you like the new shell? It's sleek. Can't wait to use the welder. Speaking you of... You be careful with that thing. If I want you to use it, I'll tell you. Exterminate! Exterminate! Oh my god. And cut that out! Wow. <laughs> what? Who designed this vessel? I've always kind of just thought that maybe it's, um, another term for fast travel. Oh my god. Okay. It is another word for fast travel, but with altitude. Got it. Ooh, okay. Not today. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Out of the way, mission. There we go. Look! Cat! 
Where there's cat, there's trouble. We have to deal with this. Dealt with. <laughs> well, that was, that was pretty close to a good plan. Oh! <laughs> I remembered at precisely the wrong fraction of a second. <sighs> I just want to go home and read. I know the feeling. To the death! <laughs> My birthday is coming up in a few weeks. <laughs> this is fine. Oh, hello. <laughs> that might not have been the best option. Um, that was not what I, I wanted this. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, folks. <clears throat> All right. It took slightly longer than I expected because I took the opportunity to make a bit of a sandwich and just, uh, you know, fill up a little bit. I'm feeling a lot better than I was at the start of stream. Headache is a distant memory at this point. Oh, yay. Gibdos. What was it that was good against Gibdos? Was it light? Yes, it was. Oh, also... Ow. Rude. Horoblins, you're kidding me. Oh, that's a lot of Horoblins. Come on. And now I'm running out of bomb flowers again. I hear a rumble turns off computer. Nature ain't frying my computer on the eve of Starfield. Good thinking. <laughs> Very good thinking. Ow. Rude. Oh god. Is my black lizel blade finally starting to bite the bullet? What the oh my god, what? No. Ah. This is too many horriblins. Crap. Uh 
Um, what can I make a new one with? Royal Broadsword. Oh, hang on. I'll just use this for now. Thank you. Ugh. I think I had another one. Yep. Yeah, okay. Ugh. Nope. Bad. There you go. Sword. Okay, what can I do with this? I want a black. Blade again. Um, okay, so. We want a fuse. There we go. Now, what else have I got? Ooh. Black Boss Horriblin Horns make pretty good choppy weapons. feel better equipped now. Let's also heal up a little bit. Oh, I missed one. Excuse me, sir. Looks like we have to go up there, so we're going to probably climb this tower. So let's stay out of sight of these guys over here this way. Oh, wait, is Zelda waiting in her own bedroom? What? Oh, that's actually kind of cool.
Okay, nothing nasty waiting nearby. Princess Zelda's study. Royal Guard Sword. Royal Guard's bow. Very nice. Not today. There she is. This is a very nice weapon. That was really, really nice. Okay, so now we have to go all the way down. Interesting. Royal Guards Claymore. I want to use this one up. Actually, I'd like to use one of these. Oh, that's... No, never mind. That's just a knight's halberd. I got him. Maybe not quite the way I intended to, but we will find a way to use up these weapons. There's his buddy over there. We'll make sure he gets a swift burial. Nope. We're not here to climb trees.
There we go. Okay, so we have to go down. Is there a way to go in and down from here? Oh, crap. There's all kinds of these things. I don't like the like-likes. Royal shield. Soldiers claim more. So this does not look like the way in. Actually, maybe it does. There it is. Wait, I could have just gone here. Oh, okay then. Well, that's fun. That's a problem. I see. We have to drop off the other side. Okay. Well, at least we found a handy dandy way to get back up again. Not that I actually needed that much. <clears throat> now that I think about it.
right there. Think not. Good job, guys. Excellent. That's the Claymore gone. And now, where is... Actually, let's use this one up. Where'd you go, sir? You're down there. Oh, whoops. <laughs> well, that one's done. Claymore. I should probably heal a little bit. Oh, you're kidding. Now she's over in exactly the spot I was just in. I went in reverse order. I think I need the rubber suit. I do have the rubber suit, don't I? Crap. Please tell me I have the rubber suit. Oh. Okay. It's even upgraded.
Oh my god, I'm out of arrows. Oh no. Oh, this is awful. Shoot. Oh, now I've got five. <clears throat> there we go. I... I am waiting. Waiting. Waiting for you. Okay. I thought something had gone wrong with the game because I could not move. 46. Yep. 38. That's a... That's a subpar royal bow there. Oh, crap. Okay. All right. That looks very much like final confrontation territory there. That's the throne room, which, in fairness, we did want to get to. Because that's where the new champion's tunic is supposed to be hidden. Oh, let's... Let's not pop up in a pile of gloom. That doesn't sound like fun. All right, guys, it is getting very close to three in the morning, and I've got quite a few days of Starfield streaming ahead of me, including a what's likely to be anywhere from a 12 to 16 hour stream on Saturday. I will definitely be taking Sunday off, by the way. Um, so I don't want to overload myself right before that happens. So I think we're going to call this here, and we're going to go find somebody to raid, though I do have a pretty good idea of who we're going to raid. I know two people who should be on. We're going to raid one or the other of them. So let's see. <clears throat> yes, Greeny Trainee is on playing Baldur's Gate 3. He's popped in a couple times during the stream. He's my strongest suspicion. We're going to end up going checking him out tonight, see how he's doing. Um, I'm going to have to be careful because he is now officially in Act 3 and I'm not. So we're, I, I don't want to get myself spoiled, but I wouldn't mind going and supporting him. And I'm just checking the rest of the list. Mandy's on with Baldur's Gate. Ultrasaurus is on day four of her subathon with the uh, total number of hours left to stream just constantly increasing. And at last time I checked, it was well over 100 hours. She's playing some SnowRunner at the moment, but she's been bouncing between games. Uh, it looks like Lunity is on. She's playing Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon, which looks really, really badass. I've been watching Ash Monster play it. And speaking of Ash Monster playing Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon, she is also on. So we've got several really, really good options tonight. Uh, if you guys have any particular preference with regards to the game or the streamer that we uh, go and visit, just feel free to let me know in chat. Although... If you don't let me know, I think we're probably going to go with Greeny. So speak up if you want something else. Otherwise, I think that's what we're going to do. And I'm just going to preemptively go and uh, load up his channel, actually. Well, it looks like he's in some sort of community. I have no idea if it's Baldur's Gate or if it's a village somewhere else. So let's, yeah, let's do it. We're going to go raid Greeny. So, uh, Greeny, Trini, here's his link. And let me get you guys the raid call. 
Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. We use Shh, it's a Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the hard emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own or maybe emotes from another streamer, even from Twitch themselves, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Greeny's channel, see what's going on with him see how he's faring in the game it does look like it's a bit of a smaller village either that or he has only just barely gotten to the outer city of Baldur's Gate itself and his map does not reflect it yet uh, either way let's get over there see how he's doing see how he's enjoying act 3 I I don't know if I'll be able to stick around too long I actually need to get some sleep but also I don't want to get spoiled but uh, I'll, I'll pop in there and see what's going on anyway so I will be back tomorrow I will be on earlier than usual tomorrow. I'm going to try and stream as close to 8 p.m. as I can, my time. Uh, for reference, it is now almost 3 a.m., so you can work out the difference there. But, you yeah, know, whatever time Starfield is launching in your territory, that's when I'm going to be trying to start because it's a simultaneous worldwide release. So I will be starting as soon as I can get to it, uh, you know, as close to launch time as I possibly can. And we're going to play Starfield all night and on Friday and all day on Saturday. So uh, I hope to see you back here for that. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. And I will catch you again real soon. Bye for now.